Hey guys, so I am in San Fran now and I don't know if you can see behind me, but that is Alcatraz. Um, we've just gone out for breakfast. We actually arrived yesterday, but we were in Walnut Creek, which is where our friends are living, and it's a little bit out of the city, so we sort of decided we'd take it easy and then um, come in today and tomorrow we're actually going to Napa, which should be heaps of fun. I love going on winery tours. It's heaps of fun, but yeah, we've just gone for breakfast. We're probably going to do the hop-on, hop-off bus thing just as it's a lot easier to get around the city, and I kind of find my experience with cab drivers and San Francisco have got no idea where they're going, so I figure at least if we're on the bus, then we can go to all the main sort of spots that we want to go to like we're going to go um, to the lookout above the Golden Gate Bridge so we get a really great view of the city that sort of thing and also go past the full house houses because I feel like that's one of those things you have to do in San Fran. stunning view back towards the city. It's quite amazing. Right now I think we're going to go back onto the bus and we're going to go past full house houses, which I can't wait. Um, I did this last time when I was here too, but it's kind of nice to do it again. Um, one thing I completely forgot about San Fran though is how freaking cold it is. I'm wearing a scarf, long sleeves, jeans. I wish I bought one of those down puffer jackets from Uniqlo though because that is kind of necessary here. <laughs> or shadowy um, is the other bridge in San Francisco. We've just been in the old ferry building, just having, well, the guys had some oysters, um, I had some chips, <laughs> and tonight we're just kind of gonna chill out a little bit. They've got a one-year-old baby who is absolutely gorgeous, so we've got a couple of, like, toys in here for her, because she turned one on Wednesday, so. Anyway, um, I better go because we're about to head back to Walnut Creek, so see you later. Hey guys, so it is the next day now and we are actually just about to go out to Calistoga which is at the top of Napa Valley and we are driving in an RV and this is quite possibly the most exciting thing ever. I've like, never been in an RV before and it's exactly like what you see in the movies, so I might give you guys a little peek inside so you can have a look, but yeah, um, this is going to be so much fun. Okay. This is so cool. This is like what it's like when the whole thing's been expanded. This thing is bigger in America. Oh yes, right? this yeah. is relatively modest, I think. <laughs> okay, so we've reached Calistoga. We just went out for lunch and we got pulled pork sandwiches and tri-tip steak sandwiches, which is sort of like barbecue, which was amazing. Right now we're just about to go and rent out some bikes so that we can ride to some of the wineries in the area. So, good feeling we're gonna be getting a little bit silly. Vineyard number two was not a success. There were so many people there waiting in a queue to get up on a gondola to go to the actual tasting room. So now we are at vineyard number three and it is really pretty here. There's all those sort of conifer, cypress trees, whatever you choose to call them depending on where you come from. 
really pretty here. I hope the wine's good. So I thought I'd give you guys a very quick update. It is, oh god, I want to say like 8.30. We have just been drinking some of the wine that we bought at the vineyards and I think very soon we'll be going out for dinner, but I'm not entirely sure. But I've kind of dressed up a little bit. I'm wearing a black and white lace dress, so we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty happy to just chill out a little bit. It's been a pretty good day. Just having a bit of a relax and a couple of drinks in sunshine. Strangest thing. Okay, so it's our second day in Calistoga. We've just been out for a little bit of breakfast and we have all sort of started to come down with something. Luke's got a terrible sore throat, Kate's got in um, allergies, and I'm starting to get a bit of a nickly throat as well. So we're gonna take it easy today. We're about to head back to Walnut Creek. Um, and yeah, I think we're just gonna chill out. <laughs> So I just got back from a 5.5k run just around Walnut Creek which is really nice and I kind of think I needed it after today because I was just like feeling a bit gross I think from all the wine but I think this evening we're just going to chill out, have some smoked salmon and yeah just kind of relax a little bit. person and go to their offices and I also got to get a little bit of a sneak peek at some of their new season or new collection styles that they'll be launching a little bit later this year which I'm really really looking forward to and can't wait to actually purchase when push comes to shove um, and I actually popped by a taqueria on Mission Street just as I've kind of been told that you sort of need to get Mexican food while you're in the Mission District. It's a pretty interesting area and not really a place that I think I would go late at night. I'm just waiting for the train to arrive so that I can head back out to Walnut Creek, just having our last night here. And tomorrow morning we fly to Vegas and we actually have to get on the BART at something like 4.20 in the morning to get out to the airport. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog here just as I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much tonight aside from sort of packing up and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys in Vegas. Thank you. 